YouTube, Toboy399 here again. As you can see, I got my little air conditioner with ice in it. So we're gonna put it on my laptop and see how it does. The temperature is up to about 170 degrees on both cores, so let's find out. Okay, YouTube, I got it underneath my laptop, right where the exhaust port is, so let's run it for about 45 minutes. Oh, not even that long. I'm gonna keep the game that's making it hot run. Okay, for the sake of time limit here and how boring it can get. Um I've sped this clip up to 300% of normal runtime. So, as you can probably see, I have a little time code index right on the lower right. Uh next to that is load max and min. As you can see, max was at 180 degrees at the time I flipped that switch on. And <clears throat> you can see right now that it's hovering just around 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I don't know about many of you gamers, but if you have a gaming laptop that gets kind of hot and you know exactly where the air intake is, build one of these. I urge you, it will help reduce your lag or your heat slowdown or whatever the hell you want to call it. But this thing does work. I'm proving it right now. And if uh, you want to get the ideas on how to build this, um, I'll put a link down in the, um, whatever the hell it's called, that stupid description description bar that they moved, or as, is it a good idea to microwave this, calls it, down the doobly-doo. So there'll be a link down there to his uh, video that shows how to build one of these. I just took his idea and just modified it a bit to run with, uh, with, a, with a 9-volt adapter and a uh, USB adapter for uh, an AC adapter if you want to run it off of that because it runs a lot better using the AC adapter on, in my opinion I can actually tell right now anyway YouTube continue watching this and you'll see at the end on how low it gets Just uh, slow the recording back down to 100%. Now I'm gonna. It's, I'm zooming in here on the max and the min here. Um, 180 degrees when I flipped that switch. Now it's at 140 and hovering around 138. So there you have it. Um, it works. Um, there's gonna be a link down in the description bar down below. Um, where to get the video on how to make one of these for like less than 80 bucks. Honestly, it doesn't cost that much to make this. I mean, I did this in like 45 minutes out of shit I found laying around my house. Um, so, but if you're gonna do it, you're gonna need uh, wire strippers, wire cutters, um, a soldering iron if you want to do it the right way. I'm not saying he did it the wrong way, I'm just saying he did it an improper way to do something like that. Now, I know what I'm doing with this stuff, so I would just suggest going off USB power for now. But if you don't know what you're doing with the AC adapter, don't touch it. Anyway, YouTube, see you later.